is Koshok, and I'm just here to answer a couple of questions from the Twitch Overwatch League All Access Pass. So let me take a look and see what you guys have for me today. So uh, Josh underscore Josh underscore Josh Josh uh, asks, is there any tips for effective practice? I think uh, overall, if you want to like consider something like really effective, will be to just concentrate a lot of uh, maybe like in a specific goal. So for example, if you go to the practice range, uh, instead of practicing like predictable characters like Genji or Farah, try to just focus on maybe hit scan characters, so Soldier or McCree. So try to like, that's just a really small example, but like just try to make it like consistent and just con uh, focus on small things. And I think that will definitely help you um, in, in the larger, larger picture. Um, I am do underscore Liz. <laughs> Uh, how is it being so far from home? Do you miss it? Uh, I think uh, being far from home is difficult um, so far because of my age and pretty much of the passion that I have. I think I have been able to like fight through it. Um, I don't think uh, a lot of people like to stay away from home. Uh, me personally, I, I love just being home and playing video games and stuff. But I think overall, just, uh, just the fact that I love what I'm doing and this is my passion, I just like, I just like where I'm currently at. So yeah, it's difficult, but it's something that I just fight through it, I guess. Um, next question goes for uh, Pablo330W. Uh, what is your favorite map visually and playable and why? I think visually, I just like Hanamura. I just like, like the aesthetics of the map. Uh, I would like to travel to Japan if I had the chance. That would be amazing. Um, so I think that's why, you know, that those aesthetics are really appealing to me. For playstyle, I like King's Row just for the fact that uh, my one of my strongest characters is Reinhardt. And on King's Row, you can definitely do a lot of work with that character. So I think uh, playstyle-wise, I think King's Row is uh, my go-to go map. Um, next question goes for uh, Insta Bane. What do you think is SF Shock main hurdle to getting into the top tier of the OWL? I think uh, so far, what we currently have is uh, it's really good. Just have more flexibility, more players. We can do a lot, a lot more different things. So this will make us like less predictable because uh, on the first two stages, we definitely were like predictable. So a lot of people knew that we have like a really good hit scan player and they knew how to play around it really well. So right now I think we have uh, more weapons at our disposal and we can definitely do uh, kind of like uh, catch enemies by surprise, if that makes any sense. So I think uh, so far, just uh, being able to practice different compositions with different players is something that will definitely help us uh, be the number one, become the number one. Um, OW Lickern, <laughs> uh, if you could be any hero IRL, who would you be and why? Hmm. I think, oh, this is a really tough one. I think I would like to be Hanso. Because uh, Hanso, he's just like super chill, uh, just like, really like passionate he just like really just he just wants to just really focus as well but he just looks like really badass too so i think hanso overall will be a uh, a good uh, character for me overall i have a, a couple more characters as well but I, I will go with the hanso um how do you bond with your team this is a question by gretas i think um uh, our team in particular has like different personalities and people from different ages as well. Um, at the beginning, it was kind of difficult because like you, it's kind of like difficult to figure out like what people like, like how, what type of personality they have and stuff like that. But as, as things go on, having like this uh, a range or like th this options or this personality is like all around you creates like a really good environment. It's really different. It's really enjoyable. I have a lot of fun with them, with all of them. Just the fact that what I'm talking with Nevix uh, is completely different from what I'm talking with Baby Bay and so on and so forth. It's like, I just really enjoy that kind of like inconsistency in a way, how everything is just like different. I really, I really enjoy that, but that just. Um, next question goes f uh, from Con9000. Do you have advice for someone who wants to start streaming? Um, I think one of the most important things that you should consider when streaming. I think you just have fun and be yourself. I think uh, as, a, as a viewer, you really want to see someone that is uh, really unique, uh, someone that is uh, that you have not seen before. Um, so just overall, just have fun when you're playing. Try not to like 
don't don't focus that much about the, the your performance or anything. Just try to be yourself, and just automatically, just people will learn to like like you, love you, and if people want to stay for you. They will definitely stay. I think that's a really good tip. Um, Scottiso or Scotts Scott is zero. <laughs> what do you think are weaknesses and strengths of San Francisco Shock? I think uh, one of our weaknesses is since all of us haven't played together for that long, of course, there's going to be like synergy problems. Uh, we don't have experience playing with each other at all. Uh, of course, right now we have stage one and stage two and now beginning stage three. Everything's just getting better and better and better with the comms, with everything, uh, the, the strategies and stuff. Uh, so I think one of our weaknesses was uh, the fact that we are like a really new team that was brought in together by Overwatch League. Um, that's, a, that's, of course, a weakness that with time and time, the more we play together, the better it will become. I think one, one of our strongest uh, things that we have is uh, we have a lot of individually skilled players. Uh, everybody does shine at, at their role. So it's a matter of just like learning how to allow your teammate to shine as well. You know, don't, don't only think about yourself, just like, Think of how I can just be a better teammate. So uh, hopefully that answers your question. Um, the next question is from uh, Aqua King 91 If you could cosplay one Overwatch <laughs> character, who would you cosplay? I think uh, I think I can definitely I can definitely cosplay a uh, Han. So I think I just need to like maybe if I had like a like a different hair, but I can definitely use a wig. I think I don't know. I don't know how cosplaying works, but I think I can definitely do a, a really nice hand. So with the casual skin as well. Casual skin? Casual? Yeah, I really like that skin. Especially the pockets on the pants. They're really nice. Um, uh, next question is from Sputnik GT. Who's your best DPS hero? I think uh, I like to play on the practice range a lot of DPS here just to practice. Overall, when I play comp, I only play, you know, tank characters like Winston, Reinhardt, or Lisa. But I think uh, if you say like, yo, Nomi, can you carry this game with this DPS gear? I will say I will go with McCree. I think my McCree is, uh, it's really inconsistent, but I think uh, I do I do, so I do, do some serious work sometimes when I'm in the zone. So yeah, McCree, McCree. Um, next question is from Nadarat17. If you could be number one in the world with any hero, what hero would you choose? I will go with Tracer, because um, that is, a, that is a character that I played the, the least, but I think her skill gap is so big. Uh, she is uh, such a skill-based character that takes a lot of time, a lot of grind. So if I want to be the, the best, uh, one of the most difficult characters that it is, I think Tracer will be the one. Because I just, I just, the design of the character is so complex. It's so like, all the options that you have at your disposal is insane. So I think, I could, I think Tracer is the one. Uh, next question is from um, Cascas underscore OW. What was your most proud moment in OWL so far? I think uh, the first time that I walked on stage was like amazing, just like walking through the tunnel and just like seeing all the people just like trying to shake your hands and stuff. It's like really overwhelming. Um, just walking on stage, getting that feeling of like uh, that ambient, that uh, energy from people is just like uh, amazing. Uh, and also turning back, just seeing all of them, just like cheering for you and, and everything. Some people cheering, some people booing, but overall it's just like they're here to enjoy the show, which uh, that's what we're trying to provide, just a good a good match of Overwatch. So yeah, I, I love that, I love that feeling. Uh, next question is from the 17142. What games did you play before Overwatch? Well, I, ha I pretty much have played like a lot of games, a lot of FPS games, it's like, if I, if I give you a list of all the games that I have played, it's like, we will never finish this AMA. So um, I play a lot of FPS, but I will say that one of my strongest games that I play a lot uh, was a MOBA called Dota 2. Uh, I think uh, I invested a lot of time on that game. I just like how complex it is and how difficult it is to be the best as well. So yeah, Dota 2 is one of the games that I was playing before Overwatch. Uh, next question goes to uh, Victoria underscore. What is your favorite way to celebrate a win? I like to just get a good meal and then just go to the gym. Just going to the gym is something that I have been trying to, um, I started implementing as soon as I came here to the US. 
So just going to the gym is just like really nice. It's uh, just put some music on, just like start just doing some weights or just some cardio. I think that's like something that I really like to do. Um, if it if it is a win or a, or, or a loss, I just like to go to the gym overall. Um, let me see. Next question is for: Do you like pineapple on your pizza? And the question is by D L E E one eight eight. I don't like pineapple on my pizza. Unfortunately, of course not. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just I just don't. I don't like it. Uh, there's so many other options that you can have. Why go with pineapple? Uh, that's just like there's so many options, man. Come on. <laughs> that's just. I'm sorry. Um, next question is uh, from. Um, Mr. Freeze, Nami, how has OWO changed your life? Uh, it has been amazing. Uh, just the fact that I'm able to talk to so many people like like at this precise moment, and uh, it's it just like, it's it just overwhelming, man. Uh, my life has changed so much since I started playing Overwatch. It, it's like impossible to think of think of worse or how to explain this man um, I'm just I'm just happy from where I'm from where I'm where I'm at and I'm just happy because of the options that that have been given to me so so thank you thank you all appreciate it um, next question is from selfish underscore OW hi Nomi how do you ensure life synergy between you and your off tank players I think uh, most of the time as Winston you would like to hide a lot. You, you don't want to be like in the front of the enemy team. It's just better to die from an angle where they cannot see you. So your diva can usually like use her matrix to like scout for you a little bit. Maybe he, uh, the diva can say like, oh, Nomi, uh, they're hiding, you know, they're, they're playing top right, you can go now. And then you go. So it, it, can, it can work like that really well. If, if you're like flanking behind them and you're ready to, to engage, then you can say like, hey, Nevix, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on them in like one second. And Nevix is gonna say, yeah, okay, I'm ready, Nomi. And then you just go in one second, you know, stuff like that. Like just try to communicate, uh, your off tank can communicate with you and you can communicate back. It's not just like one person's job, like everybody can pitch in with that. Um, next question is from Start Smalls. How do you take your coffee? Hmm. I have been buying my coffee outside so many times. Um, I'm usually going with a caramel macchiato. Uh, it's my favorite. Uh, or just cafe latte as well. White chocolate mocha is also uh, the one what I have, but when I usually, when I get it home, I just have like one um, sugar spoon, one coffee spoon, and, and some milk as well. Just very basic, but yeah. <laughs> what a question. Um, the the MH are B. If you had to play one hero for the rest of your Overwatch career, who would you choose? Genji. I think Genji is just super cool. Just like the character is like really strong as well as Tracer. Really, really difficult to play as well and to master. Um, just Genji overall is just like really cool. His design, his voice line, his ultimate. I just want to play that character all day, but. Unfortunately, Overwatch is a, it's a game of flexing, so, but Genji is like my character to go. And the question here from a Cupcake Cora, cats or dogs? I don't really wanna answer that because uh, I have a dog back home and I've always had dogs through my childhood, but I, I always wanted to have a, a cat. I think cats are really cute. They're adorable as well. They're really clean, so. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I just go 50-50. I, I love both of them. Uh, thank you so much for hearing and for, for submitting your questions. Really appreciate it, guys. And have an excellent, an excellent weekend.